anticipation We await the promise to come Everything that you have spoken will come to pass So let it be No matter how big your problem is, no matter, no matter how 
big your excuse is, no matter how big your, your situations and your circumstances might be, his sacrifice will always be bigger. And he walks into your life and he says, I'll take it. The good, the bad, and the ugly, I'll take it. I'll take it. I want it all, young person, tonight. If you know, you know in your spirit that you receive partial breakthrough, but there's just that one thing that you have yet to get rid of. Your Father in Heaven says, I'll take it. Right now. I'll take it. You want more? I've got more. You want more? I've got more. You want more? I've got more. If that's you in this place, just raise your hand all over this place. Come on. One thing. Maybe there's just that one thing. Maybe there's just that one thing and you're like, God, I want you to take it right now. I want 100% breakthrough in my life. I'm not satisfied with 99%. I need 100% breakthrough from you. Lord, we just call upon your name right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for your freedom. We thank you for your life. We thank you that your grace is sufficient for us. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you for freedom. We thank you for freedom. In Jesus' name, that each young person would take hold of it, recognizing that when you died on the cross, it wasn't for just the general public. It was for them specifically. It was for them specifically. He had you in mind when he was on the cross, going through all that pain and all that suffering for that one thing that you're giving to him right now. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Somebody say it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Do you believe that tonight? There's a, is there a coffee right now? I think so. It's probably not. It's youth. It's a youth what? group, so they're probably not going to have it. Oh, I'm going to see if Okay. Until the thing starts. But it might take more. Alright. He just go, he hit him in the head with a rock and he fell down. No, dude's like, no, his head got chopped off. Tell the truth. <laughs> so, so that's my family. <laughs> and uh I, I'm grateful to pastor the wonderful Together Church uh, in Yakima. We have three locations now. I've, I've been pastoring it for almost 12 years. And uh, we have three oh. locations. It's an awesome journey that we've been on. I started with 50 people. There's several thousand people with, with all of our uh, campuses now. And I'm just grateful just to be a part of an amazing move of God. And when I came in this building, I was like, man, God is up in Walla Walla. And I don't know where you guys are all from, but I guarantee you it's the same in your church. I think we need to give God some praise for what he's doing. This is not what people of your generation normally do. So you're part of something special, and I don't think you should ever take that uh, for granted. With that said, I'm going to preach a message. I'm, I'm a pastor at heart, and uh, because I'm getting older now, I'm, I'm going to be 38 this year. Wow. Bro. <laughs> I know, right? Black don't crack. Come on, somebody. Hey. I'm going to be 38, and... and uh, I'm old. <laughs> I'm old, and uh, How? I lived that? a crazy life. I I lived a crazy life. I all my all my high school years from the time I was in ninth grade was filled with sex and drugs and just me doing me, bouncing around. And uh, I, I lived a crazy life. The the woman that I've been married to for 17 years, I cheated on her all the way till three days before we got married. Oh. And so my, my life was kind of hectic before I got Jesus. So when I got Jesus, I went all in. And uh, I'm, I'm first generation Christian that, you know, there's no other pastors in my family that I know of. My dad went to church, but he always had two girlfriends in the church. So he, he really wasn't living all the way for Jesus. So I'm, I'm technically probably first generation, uh, a real surrendered follower of, of Christ. And uh, I think that there's some things about your generation that our culture is putting you at a disadvantage because character is developed 
Character is not something you're born with. Character comes when you're given power and you know how to budget it well. Character's given when we give you the microphone and you do what we ask you to do, not what you wanted to do. Character is when we say you got three minutes, you end at 2.59. Character says, when I want you to use this verse, you don't give me the whole other Bible, you give me that verse. Character is built over time. And I'm telling you all this stuff, a long, ginormous message because I want you to be great. I believe in your generation. My sons are in your generation. And here in the next 10, 15 years, they will lead the church that I'm building right now. I started young. My oldest son is 18. In 10 years, he'll be 28. I took over the church that I'm at at 26. So I have to accelerate this preparation far faster than what I'm ready to do. And I'm just trying to give you a skill set so that you don't let the world shape you. Because you have so much potential. You're destined for greatness. Your dreams, ideas, and plans are God birth and God breathe. But you need how to learn how to wear it before you ever learn how to use it. I'm gonna do something, every eye up, Every, or every head up, every eye open. If you're here tonight, you would say, you know what? It's, it's over. Okay. Good night. Hey. Hi, Ashley. I think this is your first appearance on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Don't worry. No views. Maybe. I don't know. This one might get more views. You know what else we might get? Copyright. It was good. Man, that was amazing. That was the best, like, yeah, that was, ooh, ooh. It was a powerful, powerful preaching tonight. Mekon Carter, oh my gosh. I thought Dylan Jones was good, ooh. Dang. Oh, that smells like Jubilee. Why don't they have another dog that's gonna do that? What? This is not Assassin's Creed. You're not. Hey, if they don't have that on the website, I'm gonna be so sad because that needs to be seen again what, and again and again and again. Bro, you like Dylan Jones. This poor Dylan Jones. You got me, Con Carter, dog. Bruh. I'm moving to Yakima. Bro, it's just real. kidding. Like, he's like, no, I'm not moving there. But, hey, he should go to City Bible Church. <laughs> Bro, for real, Zeus. Yeah. Real. Hey, if Dylan Jones actually, hey, Dylan Jones is still good, really good though. So if he like ends up going to being the lead pastor at City Bible Church, man. I look, you thought that was Greg's car. Oh, that doesn't even look like it. From a distance, hey. it looks. Oh. What do you have, bad eyes? I bet you can buy some things, I think. Yeah. That was really good, day. What? Ooh, tomorrow morning. Uh, down. I saw, I saw the yeah. girl last year. See you in Too good. Oh, 
There's 400 to 500 kids here. Say bye. 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 Say bye, Jeff. This guy's been struggling with alcohol and addiction. He comes to church, brings his whole family. Him, his mom, his two sisters all give their life to Jesus. They all serve in our church. There's other people, like this girl named Shauna. She works up at the gym. We said, hey, Shauna, you need to come to church with us. You, you would love our church. She says, yeah, I've been thinking about it. She comes to our church. She's one of our main assimilations people. This is all in the last couple months. I can look in our church and see rows of people that I personally invited to church. Church is not about this. Church is not about this. Church is about this. Hey, man, there's a call of God in your life. I'd really love for you to come to my church and be a part of it, man. Just a general conversation. That's church. Let me say, let me just give me leadership teaching. I know we got to close, but to the lost, God says, come. But to the found, God says, Go. You know what the problem is? Hold on. Here's the problem. You know what the church does? We keep trying to come. One more service. One more song. One more thing. One more message. Come on, let it be good. I need one more thing. I need one more super spiritual moment with God. I need one more hour of prayer. I need one more. You know what you need? One more, you need one more person that doesn't know Jesus to come to know Jesus. That's what you need one more. Every scripture in the Bible is to empower you to be a light. Every moment of prayer is to make you stronger for the battle. Every time we worship this conference is officially over. Look at all the Pretty cool. All right. Oh, I'll throw this to win some way. But I'll take another video in a second. Video? Yeah. I think that his shirt was incredibly tight. Alright. I like what we had to say though. I don't think most of the time it's safe for that way. I'm your band. That's coming up? Yeah, it's a good thing. But it's still coming up in the future, so, right? Hey. See, it's not. I didn't say it's coming up close. I said it's coming up sometime. Yeah. All right. So, all right, so I will see you. So it's 7:30. I mean, at 12:30. We leaving at 12:30. Hey, I take videos now. Now you're in it. Oh, no. Old Jubilee staff. Goodbye. Video? Yeah. I think that his shirt was incredibly tight. Alright. I like what we had to say though. I don't think most of the time it's safe for that way. I'm your band, you know what's coming up? Yeah, it's a good thing. But it's still coming up in the future, so, right? Hey. See, it's not. I didn't say it's coming up close, I said it's coming up sometime. Alright. So I will see you. Oh, yeah. So it's 7.30? I mean, at 12.30? We're leaving at 12.30? Hey, I take videos now. Now you're in it. Oh, no. Old Jubilee staff. Goodbye. Yeah. Video? Yeah. I think that his shirt was incredibly tight. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright. 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 Hey, this guy, send, this, send it out, get him as many steps as you can. Yeah, He's right. the man. <laughs> yeah. People like watching you and your family than you do like on my YouTube channel because it's like one view. It's just good. Hey, how you been? We good? How was the concert? It was awesome. It was, it was awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I just thought if you made an appearance on my YouTube channel, maybe it would go viral. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's sick. Hey, dude. Bye. What up, Caleb? Oh. Caleb. Oh, what's up, dude? Yeah. We're doing like a YouTube channel.
Yeah. Oh, really? It'll go viral. Do what? Viral YouTube. Oh, really? Because he's in it. Is it recording right now? Yes, it's recording. Yo, what up? Yeah. It's Caleb. There with different Caleb. The Hasbro, the Hassler. Yeah. The Hoss. Yep. Hassler. The YouTube channel that he probably hasn't visited yet. Dude, no, I got I, on your, your YouTube channel. Yeah, no, no, dude, yeah, I checked out. Oh, really? Um, it's, 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 yeah, it's, 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 Have you seen this video on it yet? Of course, you haven't. No, I'm not yet. That would be weird. That would right. be weird. Unless yeah. you're like live streaming it. But, yeah. yeah, hey. Maybe one day. Alright. Yeah, now right. yeah, yeah, you're on it. Sam. Hey, Martin. what's up? Yeah. I want to make sure I get that right because I've never been clear on Sam that. Sam Martinez. Yeah. What's up, guys? That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's, Check him out. It's honestly probably just one cool girl music. and it's Francesca watching this. No, okay. Francesca is like, no, I don't. It's my girlfriend. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, except for that one view that was called I Keep Sneezing that got 900 views, but oh, that was a weird go. appearance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Check him out. Check yeah. Him out. yeah, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right, man. Yeah. Take care, man. All right, now I think I'm done pestering people. I'm going to walk out. I'm done pestering. Where's my stuff? I'm so confused right now. The chairs that had my stuff on it like disappeared. I'm I'm really confused. I I lost my stuff. The chair <laughs> there were chairs and I had my stuff on it and it's like gone. And my stuff. I'm trying to lost some time. I'm gonna go search. What to do? Yeah. Oh, here it is. Hey, this stuff is mine. Yep, you're good. And this is mine. Yeah. I think that's everything I had on the chair. All right, I got my stuff. Yeah. Hang on. No, I was like too busy pestering people. Is this your mom's cell phone? All right, I'm in the video. I think it's all for the G3 conference videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.